What's up, gang? Case here with our at-home strength work for Friday, December 4th. We have our lunge complex, same one from last week, except we're adding a rep to each direction of our lunge. And then we also have tall kneeling strict press again, same thing there. We're going from 10 reps last week up to 12 reps per set this week. Let's talk about that lunge complex to start. If you have multiple weight options at home, I recommend using a lighter weight for your lateral lunge and then a heavier weight for your forward and backwards lunge today. On that lateral lunge, as we step out to the side, a good way to find how far you should be stepping is am I getting jammed up if I'm stepping too short or you will get jammed up. You'll notice I won't be able to go as deep if I don't step out as wide. But then the other thing I wanna watch out for is if I step out too wide, then I'm gonna get a ton of strain on the inside of this leg and this leg's gonna be out so far that I won't be able to get as much range. So there's a sweet spot kind of right in the middle that's gonna allow you to get a good stretch out of this trailing leg and then also get the most depth out of this leading leg. So from here, we wanna keep our chest and hips square to the front. When we land, both toes are gonna to stay straight forward, heels on the ground. We're still gonna send our hips back while keeping that chest tall, give ourselves a little stretch there in the bottom, and then squeeze quads, butt, and belly tight as you stand tall. Back out to the side, take your time in the bottom, keep your heels on the ground, squeeze tight as you come back to the middle. As soon as you finish six there, you'll pick up your heavier dumbbell, and you'll go into six forward lunges. On this forward lunge, step out far enough, to where this front shin is almost vertical. It has a slight forward lean, that's okay. And then check yourself in the bottom when you're warming up to make sure that you're still holding your belly tight but pulling your shoulders back and keeping that gaze neutral. Push off that front leg and then squeeze your butt and your belly as you stand up. You'll go six reps there and then right into six reverse lunge, still moving the same leg so the opposite leg will stay planted throughout, stepping back far enough to where we have close to a vertical shin on that front knee uh, as well. Same thing throughout all of our lunges, proud chest, belly tight, shoulders down and back. You'll go through six lateral, six forward, six reverse on one side, right into sixes on the other side, and then you'll break for a minute before you kick off your tall kneeling strict press. On these, I want you to do a little test today. So as you're warming up, let's press our fist with no weight, and I want you to notice how much easier it is to keep a tight belly and a tight butt when we're not holding a load. So you'll press that fist overhead. You're really gonna work on reaching as high as you can with your fist, and then once you're here, hold for a moment, Squeeze your belly, squeeze your butt tight. That's the tension we're looking for even when we're holding that dumbbell. So once you bring that dumbbell up, if you're struggling to keep that tension overhead or get full extension out of that shoulder, then that tells you you've probably gone a little bit too heavy here. That's what we're looking for with this movement is we're looking to learn how to engage our butt, engage our belly, and get some more range out of our shoulder all at the same time. So don't overload yourself to where you're not able to hold a tight core. Just to rehash on some basic details for that tall kneeling, knees should be wider than your hips, toes touching together behind you, shoelaces on the ground, and a little tip that'll help you squeeze that butt tight, think about pushing your knees into the ground, and that'll also help you squeeze quad butt and then you can bring the belly into the equation. 12 on one side and then 12 on the other side. You shouldn't be close to burnout on these because if you are, that tells me that you're probably overriding that core position. So have a few reps left in the tank at the end of each set. Three sets on those today, taking about a minute rest between our lunges and our tall kneeling presses and vice versa. Good luck on your strength work today, and we'll see you back soon for our Metcon.